Hello and welcome back to Urbeck. Once again, I'd like to thank Studios Kremlinois for providing me with the key to play this for you today. In our last episode, we built this starting city here. We have a nice residential area. We've gotten up to the village house level of um, construction. Uh, those are kind of the uh, the third house in this direction. Um, we went from the wooden hut to the poor village hut to the village house. And then we also built a villa over here, which is for the more wealthy residents of the uh, town. Um, so uh, we, we've gotten to this point in the in the quest here or in the, in the tutorial where we need to make an iron mine out here near an iron deposit. The iron mine needs to have 550 population, so we need to add some more population. But before we can do that, we need both some more food and some more energy. So uh, the energy is, of course, a uh, means we need more, more wood. And maybe I should build that out here someplace. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's build it out here. Uh, let's do a lumberjack cabin. That'll go out. What was it three tiles? I think from the road. We'll put that there, and that'll start claiming this field as uh, for energy. So that boosts our energy quite a bit. But we need, or this that forest. I mean, but we need some more fields over here. Uh, let's do let's do another row of fields here, and I probably will need to start another forest or a, a planting area in order to have enough food for everyone. The um, the houses, the village houses that we have now, they consume a lot more and don't really produce much, if any more, than the poor village. They produce the same amount as the poor village houses. So uh, while they pro do provide more happiness to our city, they do not provide more uh, work to our city. So it's another thing we have to balance. And I want to place that soccer field that we took down the last time here just to try and enhance this area a little bit uh, beauty-wise. And this should be able to update now, assuming that oh, it needs more people around. So it needs to be a little bit tighter of an area in order to upgrade. I think we could probably continue building out this area. And I think I want to do the uh, thing we discussed about making one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tiles instead of uh, six. And see if that works any better for the housing and the parks that we can place back here. So uh, this goes here then in some amount. And I probably should make my, my blocks here a little bit longer. I think that would probably make more sense, but given the way that I started, I think this is probably okay. And we have a food shortage again. So let's do a little bit more food. Maybe we can even do some food on this side here. Uh, those need to be five tiles. I think I could do another country house here. Oh, we need to wait for the farms to grow. Right. And we might be able to do a grain silo out here. Uh, nope, I'm going to have to do it up here someplace. Five tile radius for the grain silos. And the country houses were a also a five tile radius. Can we build this yet? Nope. Uh, eight of 12 in a three tile radius. Nine of twelve. Okay, I see it. Yeah, so I need to wait for these all to get planted before I can do anything with that. Uh, that road needs to be deleted, or that tree no, road, so they can place the road. And then we should be able to place that country house now. There, and that'll boost our food production by quite a bit. Uh, the grain silo can probably also go in this neighborhood someplace. Oh, we need more country houses nearby. Okay, let's put down some more fields then. Uh, like that, maybe. And then I think if I take out... One, two, three, four, five... No, wait, that's part of the... One, two, three, four, five. If I take out this... And I put the uh, grain silo in right here. Because that gives us a lot more production of food... And of course, uh, production of, and of course, so does the country house. So that will help out a little bit there. And we have 592 people, which means that we can build an iron mine. Oh, wow, there's more stuff available now. Uh, the big, st okay, so iron mine, I guess we can go here. I have no idea. 
And I'm going to build the road out to it. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, production is 5 iron. Consumption is 20 work. Storage is 500 iron. To increase your iron production, you can build houses near the iron mine that were transformed into miners' houses, although the living conditions are pitiful. These houses need to be next to the road. So that's uh, this here. So we need to have a... Uh, um, apparently that's a mine in a five-tile radius. And it uh, they consume a lot. They produce just one more iron for all that consumption. Uh, they have ten residents and only six happiness. But, I mean, that's all that the wooden houses have is six happiness. So that's not necessarily a bad thing. But apparently they need to be next to their... I wonder if, if I do this, though. Let's just test this theory out here. Will that be a single miner's house or would that be like a combine into a larger one it combined into a larger house okay so only the ones along the road combined into the miner's house though unless these two can get absorbed into it uh but that works for me so now we're producing a little bit more but we have a radical energy shortage this is an a this is the abandoned what was that that's abandoned? Uh, that's a lumber camp. That's a lumber camp. Must be a... Oh, that's why. We have an abandoned... Um, lumberjack cabin. Interesting. Must have ran out of trees and became abandoned. If you look at the possible evolutions of houses, you'll see that to get to poor suburb house, you need education. Let's click on a house. Uh, poor suburb house, we need um, services, education, and then residence density. Oh, a fair can be of services now, too. Okay, therefore, build a school near your town so the house is going to be updated into poor suburb house. Uh, let's look at the school. Uh, let's see. Now I wish this was in a different spot, but maybe it'll be okay... To build, if I do something like this, and build the school there, maybe? I don't know if that's going to be close enough for, like, oh, it already has poor suburb houses. So they consume a bit more, yet, uh, more than the village houses. Oh, actually, they consume a little bit less, f less food, more energy than the village houses. They produce two somethings, two skilled works. Okay. That works for me. Har. And it must be per tiles. This is one, two, three, four, five, six times two is 12. Yeah. You still have to learn how to build the last buildings in this alpha version, such as the suburb house, modern silo, and warehouses. But you can find out for yourself. Okay. Thanks for testing the alpha of, of the game. I appreciate all the feedback. So the suburb house needs a thousand population. Uh, it has some additional production going on here. So we just need to increase our population in order to unlock the suburb house. Uh, what else do we have available? Is it something about a modern uh, grain silo? We don't have any mini markets, though. We could put one of those down here. That's going to consume food. We uh, have another energy shortage. So maybe I should put down another... Um, and that's where I think the coal mine and the coal plant comes in, because that gives us energy. Oh, yes, it does. Oh, yes, it does. And then a warehouse, which is for logistics. I wonder what logistics does. And I wonder where the coal is that we need to mine. Unless that's just mined out of the ground, like you just put it wherever you want. Uh, let's see. Uh, we wanted a... Lumberjack cabin, another lumberjack cabin. Maybe I'll put that over here someplace. It needs a road, right? Okay, so let's build a road this way. And then we'll put that lumberjack cabin down. Down here. And there's a pond available. Which needs more happiness in order to unlock it. Okay. So I think we need to work toward that, uh, that population. Which means we need to build more houses. I love that. 
And that means we also now need more food. We'll do that also. Let's uh, bulldoze that tree, this tree, and put down some more. Um, let's see, we're going to need at least a couple of these. Uh, can I do a grain silo here? Yeah, the work, we don't have enough work. We need to save up some work. That needs to be five. Yeah, so oh, we're going to need to build a. So this will go here, and we need a country house there. Let's plan that out a little bit. Uh, put a road in. Put our road in. And of course, we have a tree in the way again. Uh, one more road, maybe. And then we want these two here. This one here. Uh, country house can go there, here, there. Something like that. And then for these. And we need more houses now. We need more work. Mm-hmm. And we're also going to need some more energy. Boy, I can't wait till we get to that. Uh, what is that? And let me build that road there. Oh, because it's the edge of the map, maybe? Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so we have we have more energy now. Hopefully plenty. Uh, we have plenty of food. We could use some more housing. Uh, once we have, at least once we have enough of a stockpile of work. Yeah, they take 50 work each to build, so that takes a little bit of time to build that up. But the more work we have, the more work we build up, so it kind of balances out in the end. I guess I could be using the speed things here. Energy is broken again. Why is energy broken again? Did I lose a... What's your problem? Does not have something natural to exploit. So the trees aren't growing fast enough in its area. Uh, if I'm translating my Spanish correctly. No resources, no natural resources to exploit. Okay. Not bad. I'm talking about my translation, not the... Uh, and then it just abandoned. Okay, so we definitely need to have more, and that was that was a, a lumber camp that was providing wood. I don't think we need to worry about that just now. We do have a bit of a surplus of wood, but I do need to have some more energy. So we need to put down another, oh, coal mine. Can I just put this like out here? Yes, I can. And then coal plant. And I'm putting it away from the road, by the way, because of the beauty hit there, or from the, away from the fields, I guess. But I guess I can put a road in there if I want to. So now we have a coal plant and a coal mine. Uh, they're consuming more of the skilled labor than we have available. Uh, specifically, this is consuming more skilled, more skilled labor than we have available. Uh, so we need to upgrade a few more houses, hopefully, into suburbs. And we can do that by, I think, getting some food out there. Oh, we need education, too. So let's maybe put down another school. Can I put down a school, like, here? Yes, I can. And we need more food again. Oof. Okay, let's put down a... Um, Country house right here, and then a grain silo right next to it. And that should help matters uh, with the food. It does. And we are neutral on coal now because this produces 10 coal and this consumes 10 coal. So they're a one to one, which is, I guess, good to have them together. But that produces a crap ton of energy, which means that we don't need necessarily these. Um, 
lumberjack cabins anymore. I mean, they're good for the storage at least, uh, because for in one tile they store two fifty, whereas in one tile these store five hundred. So or four tiles rather, those store five hundred. So they have double the density of storage, as long as they don't complain about the lack of, uh, the lack of wood, lack of trees to exploit. And then we have a warehouse, which is going to cost us some more skilled labor and also some iron. It's going to consume work, skilled labor, and energy, and I'm not sure what logistics means. Let's see if we can figure out what that means. Oops. Keep hitting escape. What does logistics mean in in this in the in the respect of this game? Okay, so that now I'm assuming that I can build more of these together like this. And then does that mean that So what uses logistics? Is that where the um Suburb house comes into play? No, that must be something that's not been unlocked yet or, may, or coded into the game yet. So we need to do a little bit more population building. Let's go ahead and build some more houses. We have plenty of food for it. So one, two, three. Let's just build that whole thing there, as well as this bit here. And we'll let those build out. Our happiness is at 9.1. Does that mean we can place a pond now? Yes, it does. What if I place a pond like over here someplace? Like, even like right here. What does that do for us? It's just a pond. Okay, it's, it's literal all it is. It's just a pond. Oh, that's a miner's house too. Interesting. Village house. Okay, we have some suburb houses. This is... Or some poor suburb houses. Uh, this is just waiting on additional residents. Oh no, we don't want villas. We want village houses. And then we need more services. So we need to have another mini market out here. Does not have resources for maintenance. Oh, we need to plant more fields. Okay. Translating Spanish on the fly again. And we might be better served to put some fields over here again. I wonder if you can plant on the uh, desert tiles. Let's try it. Apparently so. And then let's put down a country house uh, once we get this going, I guess. Uh, field. And I can delete a spot for a country house. About right here, I think. There we go. And then I can actually use a, uh, what is it called? A, uh, a local market. Wait, is that the right one? Yep, that's the right one. Right there, because there are fields nearby. And that's one of the requirements, is that it needs to have eight farms in a five-tile radius. Okay, we are consuming a crap ton of energy now, uh, because we're we're producing a crap ton. Uh, 200 plus all those, all those uh, lumberjack cabins. And we only have 91 currently. So I still don't know what the warehouse thingy is for. Other than being one logistics. So that must be something that we don't have available to us yet. Unless the uh, final house has it. We can do the upgrade to the, sub to the, to the suburban house here. Ah, uh, we have it. Our population just dropped again. Let's try to get some more pops in here. Uh-oh. 
What happened? Oh, all these upgraded to suburb houses and now they're complaining. Because there's not enough population anymore. Do they? They might be taking the population. Like, they might be less dense than their predecessors. 10 residents per tile on that. No, there's 10 residents still. Produces less, consumes more, though. Maybe we should build some more houses out here, then. Delete some of these here. And then let's do some housing. Uh, three tiles. Mm. I'll do that much. And then we want some parks in here. Okay. And that should help us with the population. And what is your problem now? Nothing. Okay. I don't know why you're still complaining then. But we have reached the end of what's available in in the game so far. So um, I guess this is a good place to end. I guess we could actually add a little bit more food and then have a good place to end. Let's build a road this way. And of course there's a tree in the way. Keep building the road out. And then uh, we can do one, two, three, four, five, maybe that many. And that'll help us with that food problem until we can build another country house and also another uh, uh, granary, grain silo. Still don't know why you're complaining. Uh, energy. Ooh. And we have an abandoned uh, thing here, so we're just going to delete it. We might have more abandoned ones. Yeah, there's one over here that's abandoned. And I think we should just build another coal mine. And another coal plant. And that provides a lot more energy. Uh, that consumes some more of our skilled labor, but that's okay. And it looks like we're trying to stabilize with the food, but it's not quite stabilizing just yet. But I think we can do another uh, country house. One, two, three, four, five. Can it go right there? No, it's got to go right here. Okay. And then in between the two, let's put down a few more fields here just to round out the, uh, the whatever. And then let's take this out here and put in a grain silo. Take that out as well and that out as well. Put some road in here and a field in here. And that gives us a lot more food now. So uh, that stabilizes. I think that stabilizes everything, hopefully. Uh, I still don't know what you're whining about, but okay. Everything is fine. We have some nice sub suburb houses here. Let's go into first person view just to take a look. Uh, so they uh, they have a nice picket fence. A uh, There's a person walking over there. I just got run over by a car and here's another car. Oh, it disappeared. Oh, probably pulled into a garage. Oh, that's what the scroll wheel does. It speeds up and slows down my uh, ability to move. Okay. Uh, so that just, the house just ended. I don't know why. Oh, it just rebuilt. Okay. So the houses are kind of constantly in a state of rebuilding and restructuring themselves. I guess as different stuff becomes available and whatnot. Because uh, that is now a village house. And in order for it to become a villa, it needs more residents around. So yeah, the ones on the corners just aren't um, aren't getting a lot. Yeah, they need they need a lot more residents in order to be uh, in order to be to be to be satisfied. So I think this is the place to end with this this game. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think about this game. I would I'm enjoying it. I would like to come back to it. Uh, if you're interested in seeing it again on on uh on youtube then let me know and as there's more content released i will uh definitely play it again for you um either way i will definitely be playing it again anyway so thank you all for joining me for this episode and this series and i will see you in the next one bye for now